This is really, really important information, and this comes direct from the examples. So please share this with as many people as you can to avoid anybody making these common mistakes in an exam. And the example to share this because they genuinely want you to get more marks. Now, I know you think the examples are the enemy, but they're not. They're sharing this advice to, advice to avoid you making these mistakes in the exams so that you can get more marks. Now, I can't show you a copy of the document because um, that's copyright infringement, so I'm going to read it to you from my phone. And then you can go and find the document yourself. It is called Exploring Common Misunderstandings in Science. So lots of really, really good advice in here. So there are loads and loads of things that you can go through. But one of the key things that the examples need you to understand is that if a question says tick one box only, then you need to tick one box only. If you tick no boxes on a multiple choice question, you're going to get no marks at all. So at least always guess. But if it says tick one box only and you tick two boxes, the examiner doesn't know that you know what you're talking about. So they can't give you any marks. The same with drawing lines from things. If it says draw one line and you draw two lines, you haven't demonstrated to the examiner you know what you're talking about, so they're not going to be able to give you any marks for this. If it says complete sentence using the words given, then in the spaces in the sentence, please only add in the words that you were given to select from. Don't try and be clever and make up new words or words that you think are better go in those spaces. And chances are the examples have not made a mistake and left out a word. That The papers get checked so many times that's really unlikely to happen. So please, if you're filling in the blanks to using the words from a box, please only use the words given to you in the box. You only get marks for writing the answer, so do not repeat the question out again in your answer. Start your answer with because if you want to, or just don't even use the word because, just give the answer. A question could be name the force that means things fall to the ground. And the answer is one word, gravity. You do not need to write the answer. The name of the force that involves objects falling to the ground is gravity. Just give that answer, because that's the only bit you're getting marks for. Don't repeat the stuff that was in the question, because you're not going to get marks for it. If a question asks you to compare two things, and you say, it is higher, what is higher? It is not a good word to use in the exams. If you say something is higher, or something is lower, or something has changed, then please be specific specific in what you were talking about and when you're writing things down please make sure your your spelling is clear enough for the examiner to understand what you are talking about. They will go with phonetic spellings but please try and make it easy for them to keep with the marks. When you are writing down numbers please make your numbers really really clear. Um, some numbers that are commonly mistaken are like one and a seven. If you have a problem with this then please practice making your numbers clear. If you're balancing equations, doing like a maths and physics um, answer, if the examiners cannot tell which number you're using, then they cannot give you the marks for it. And while we're talking about maths and physics, you get no marks for writing down equation triangles, so please don't use them. If you write something is true and something is false, you have contradicted yourself in a statement. So please don't do that. Just write something is true. Don't try and hedge your bets by writing the opposite. If you write the true thing, the correct thing, you're not and the if you write the true thing and the wrong thing, you're not demonstrating to the examiner you know what you're talking about, so you're not going to get the marks. Please just write one thing down. The exam board strongly suggests that you use highlighters to pick out important bits of the question. Now, do not write your answer in highlighters because they won't scan through. Nobody will be able to mark it. But if you know the question is referring to element X, then go through and highlight wherever element X pops up so it's easy for you to answer the question. Command words is another big thing. For an evaluate question, you have to be able to justify your answer. For an explain question, you need to give the why, not just the description of what it looks like. Don't round to whole numbers unless it specifically tells you to. If it wants you to round something, it'll say give your answer to two decimal places or two significant figures. But if it doesn't, just go with the sensible answer. Do not overly round things, do not round things too early because you're going to be making mistakes. When you are drawing lines of best fit, they do not always have to be straight lines. They can be curved lines. You don't have to use a ruler every time. But when you're drawing axes along the bottom, please make sure it's a linear axis. Loads and loads of advice direct from the examiners there. You can go and look up this report, which is called, let me just scroll all the way back up to the top to work out what it is actually called. Exploring common misunderstandings in GCSE science. If you want to read the full report and if you want to read um, 
the, the advice and the examples that the exam boards and the examiners give you to help you with this. Um, this is just another way that the examiners are really helping you to try and push you to get more marks. You know, I'm there for you, the exam boards are there for you, we can all do this together. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.